On November 8th, many places in our country had the chance to witness a fascinating astronomical event, the blood moon during a total lunar eclipse. The moon doesn't produce its own light, but reflects sunlight, creating the gentle glow we see each night. When the moon, earth, and sun align, with earth in the middle blocking the sun's light, earth casts a shadow behind it consisting of the umbra, full shadow, and penumbra, partial shadow. When the moon moves into the umbra, direct sunlight no longer reaches it. However, sunlight still passes through Earth's atmosphere, gets refracted, and sneaks into the shadowed area. Sunlight is made of seven colors, with red having the longest wavelength, so it bends the most. As a result, red light reaches the moon, making it glow with a classic coppery red hue. This is the blood moon we love to watch. Beyond the familiar red, the moon has also appeared in many other colors. Blue, orange, pink, gray, white, yellow, green, depending on atmospheric conditions, dust, humidity, and the way light scatters. The pale yellow moonlight we usually see is also due to atmospheric scattering. Especially during the November 8th eclipse, there was another rare event, the moon occulted Uranus. From Earth, it looked as if the moon swallowed and then released Uranus, a spectacular game of cosmic hide-and-seek. Usually, Uranus is dim and drowned out by the moon's brightness, but when the moon's light dimmed in Earth's shadow, Uranus became clearer in the sky. Unfortunately, if you missed it this time, you'll have to wait around three years for another chance to see it. So if you get the opportunity, don't miss this rare and beautiful moment in the night sky.